now been issued in all four nations of the UK and it could remain in place until at least the middle of February. A full lockdown is coming into force in England for a third time. The tougher new restrictions were introduced to combat a new variant of the virus which is driving up daily infection rates to all-time highs. Prime Minister Boris Johnson has closed schools for almost all students only a day after insisting that parents should absolutely send their children back to classrooms. Addressing the nation last night, Mr Johnson said people in England should start following the rules immediately, even before they are enacted into law. Even Laverick has the latest. The day began in an upbeat mood. Boris Johnson visited some of the first people to receive the COVID-19 vaccine developed by Oxford University and AstraZeneca. But it ended with him putting England into its third national lockdown as the country struggles with the fast-spreading new virus variant. With most of the country already under extreme measures, it's clear that we need to do more together to bring this new variant under control while our vaccines are rolled out. In England, we must therefore go into a national lockdown which is tough enough to contain this variant. That means the government is once again instructing you to stay at home. The decision follows a warning from the UK's chief medical officers who've said that without action, the capacity of the country's National Health Service may be overwhelmed within 21 days. A stark indication of the problem is that in England, hospital admissions have risen by 50% since Christmas Day. The restrictions mean that all schools and colleges will close to most pupils and switch to remote learning. University students should not return to campuses and will also be taught online. People cannot leave their homes except for certain reasons, shopping, exercise and medical needs. Mainland Scotland is also being placed under full lockdown. New stay-at-home rules are to be legally enforced and will greatly restrict travel. Scotland's First Minister earlier issued the order without mincing her words. Indeed, it is no exaggeration to say that I am more concerned about the situation we face now than I have been at any time since March last year. A sharply increasing number of cases in human terms means many more people becoming ill and dying. All of that explains why we have to act quickly and decisively. In Northern Ireland, a stay-at-home order is also being given legal force and remote learning for school children is being extended, while Wales, which is already under lockdown, is expected to remain there throughout January. Evelyn Laverick, Euronews. Our correspondent, Ty Genright, joins me now from London. Good morning to you, Ty. These are the harder set of measures introduced by the authorities so far, and they're going to have a huge impact on people's lives. Yeah, that's right. Certainly the hardest since the original lockdown in March of last year. But as you heard there in Evelyn's report, the numbers in hospitals are really quite staggering, up 50% since Christmas, up by a third just over the past week. And the whole reason that we're entering the so-called Tier 5, the trigger for that is the, this risk, this projected risk of the National Health Service becoming overwhelmed within the next 21 days. Now, how much impact will this renewed lockdown have? Well, it's impossible to really forecast that for sure. Boris Johnson did point out in his address last night that we are de dealing with a new variant, which is, as he put it, 50 to 70 percent more transmissible than the old one. And a lot will depend on whether these new restrictions are actually adhered to. Now, there is pretty overwhelming public support for them. An opinion poll by the pollsters YouGov suggests that 79 percent of the British public do believe in a new lockdown. Of course, translating that into actual action action is another thing entirely. And it is worth remembering, Ollie, that three quarters of the UK population have already been under some very severe COVID restrictions, so-called tier four restrictions, quite close to the new restrictions which are coming into place. The only main difference is the closure of schools, and it hasn't stopped the numbers surging just yet.